Welcome to the Aero General Service Channel. I'm your host, Corey Bartolotti, and in today's video, we're going to be installing a drain basin and catching one gutter downspout in the backyard and running the main line through the side here and discharging it roughly seven to eight feet from the sidewalk. Now, as you can see, the sidewalk connects directly to the street, so there is no going under the sidewalk. And typically, nowadays, the counties, they want you to discharge your lines roughly five feet from the sidewalks. So we're gonna be catching this gutter downspout right here that you see, because this is contributing to the problem. And then we're gonna be putting our catch basin or drain basin in the lowest spot right here, which is gonna be more roughly in front of the door, because when we ran the hose to see where the water pools, it really wants to pool towards the front of the door and then start wait making its way over the sidewalk. Now for this install, we're gonna be using a product made by ADS. This is called Triple Wall HDPE Drainage Pipe. The HDPE stands for High Density Polyethylene. That is a very durable and sturdy plastic. And the reason it's triple wall is because you're gonna have a smooth interior, then you're gonna have a core that is made of corrugated pipe, and then you're gonna have an exterior that is also smooth. Now this gives the pipe additional strength while it's in the ground and it also allows for a little bit of flexibility but not much but it is more flexible obviously than sdr 35 pvc so you can bend it ever so slightly if you do need to now with this with any hdp plastic you cannot solvent weld that type of plastic together meaning it cannot be chemically bonded the the chemical will not melt the plastic so you have to use a different type of adhesive that just glues the plastic together. And then you also use tile tape to wrap the joints because 90% of these systems fail because roots get into the system by either the joints or if somebody just threw a piece of perforated pipe in the ground and called it a French drain, the roots entered the perforations and clogged the system entirely. So let's go ahead and we'll go over the type of glue that we're gonna be using. Christie's Root Band Drain Pipe Adhesive creates a seal that is many times stronger than the commonly used press fit method. The active ingredients in Root Band have been proven to remain active throughout the life of the drainage system. This saves time, money, and most important, the hassle of chemical and mechanical root removal or excavation and replacement of the entire drainage system. Roots typically enter drain lines through poorly protected push fit pipe connections, which are often not watertight. The roots quickly fill up in the drainage pipe, impede water flow, and cause premature system failure. Root band is specifically formulated to bond and seal polyethylene, HDPE, and styrene drainage pipe joints. The seal is both watertight and flexible, so pipes are less susceptible to shifting and separation. This eliminates seepage or leaks that attract roots and root intrusion into the joints. Now this particular product has actually been discontinued, unfortunately, but you can still find it online because they do have stockpiles of it left, but I do not know how long those stockpiles will, will last. So if you want some, you better go order it now. Now, fortunately, they do make another product for gluing HDPE pipe together. You can find it on Home Depot's website and on Lowe's website, and I'm sure there's other places online that you can also find it. But this one particularly was discontinued. Now, I don't know what kind of active ingredients they put in this to be able to inhibit root growth, um, but I would assume that they are pretty strong chemicals so whenever using this stuff i would recommend wearing gloves we didn't wear gloves while we were installing it we probably should have but we made sure not to get any on our hands but to be extra cautious i would wear gloves and not get it on you so as you can see i've already started trenching out in the backyard i have my tarp on the left side of the trench that way i can just throw the dirt right on top of it so we kind of keep the area a little bit cleaner and it makes it a lot easier to put the dirt back all right guys so i get a lot of questions about digging these trenches so while i make my way down the left side of this house 
there's going to be multiple sprinkler lines that I'm going to come in contact with along with the sprinkler main that unfortunately is going to run down almost the entire length of this trench that we're digging. And it just happens to be in the way of the main line that we're putting in. So now when I'm, when we're digging these trenches, we're not going crazy with the shovel, just throwing it in the ground and just destroying everything that we're coming in contact with. That's, that's not how you dig. When you dig, you go at a at a certain pace, you know, because you don't want to go too slow, because then it's going to take you forever to dig the trench. But you want to you want to keep a certain pace going, but you want to go slow enough to where you're not breaking all kinds of stuff in the ground. And you put the shovel in there, you slowly scoop down, and if you feel something, you don't start hacking away at it. You go ahead and you investigate it further and and slowly figure out what it is and determine if it's a root. Okay, we'll go ahead and cut it. And if it's a sprinkler line, we'll go ahead and uncover that. If it's a wire, we'll go ahead and, you know, pull on it and find where it goes and move it out of our way and continue to dig. You know, when, when we dig these trenches, we're not just throwing the shovel in the ground like a madman here. You know, this is a strategic process. All right, so we got our trench fully dug and it's time to install the catch basin in the back. Now, whenever you're installing a catch basin or a sump pump basin, you want to always drill weep holes at the bottom of the basin. Now, there's two reasons for this. The first reason is because these basins are buoyant, meaning they will float once the groundwater starts to, to starts to saturate the ground around the basin, it can actually float up out of the ground and can be completely useless then. So that's the first reason. Now, the second reason is because you don't want a petri dish holding in the basin. That's just going to create a breeding ground for mosquitoes, frogs, other insects. It's going to start to smell over time. So you don't want these basins to hold water. So you drill weep holes and then you use a DOT fabric. So that's Department of Transportation approved fabric. I'm talking a good double punch fabric that they use under roadways. You want to go ahead and you want to line your hole with that. Then you're going to put your drain rock at the bottom and then you're going to put your basin on top. You're going to fold that fabric in. You can even put some more rock around it to help hold that fabric in. And then you're going to pack dirt around that basin. The reason we use a double punch fabric like this to outline the hole before putting the drain rock in is because you do not want soil migrating into the stone because that is going to fill the voids in the stone and it's going to make it where those weep holes do not drain out nearly as efficient as if you did use a drainage fabric so that's that's all the drainage fabric is for is to keep the soil separation so and you need the drain rock because that helps create the void so the water can drain out quicker of those basins once the rain event is over now remember if you're living in an area where your groundwater table is too high then it might not perk that well. We're in Florida. We have a lot of sandy soil where we're at. So we're fortunate. We can we can do this and the ground perks and it allows these basins to dry out. If you're in a clay soil, it will perk. It's just going to take a little bit longer and the ground is going to have to dry out a little bit more. Now working with this HDP pipe is pretty easy. I'm just using a sawzall, as you can see, to cut through the pipe to create a joint. Now we're gonna measure and make sure our joints are exactly how we want them before we apply the root band glue and wrap it with tile tape. So I'm going to test fit these fittings and I'm gonna put marks with a Sharpie so we know exactly where we want them before we apply the adhesive and wrap it with tile tape. Another thing I forgot to mention about this adhesive, it does not dry instantly. It takes 24 hours for this adhesive to set up and dry. So you have time to adjust the fitting. You have a lot of time actually to adjust the fitting. So once you have that fitting adjusted and that joint exactly how you want it, you hold it there and you wrap it with tile tape. You know, you do about maybe four to five wraps around it and you make it wide that way that tile tape holds it in. Now tile tape is just PVC tape. It's very sticky and it is very stretchy and it holds up. And this helps keep the roots out of that joint along with the adhesive. So it's a double layer of protection. 
Now this pipe is designed so that it can fit right into your normal sewer fittings, the same ones that we use with our SDR35 PVC pipe. Now a tip on installing this HTPE drainage pipe, while you are laying it into your trench, constantly be taking the level of it. And as you create the joints, go ahead and start to bury it in and pack dirt around the sides of it and check your level and keep the level exactly how you want it by packing the dirt around the sides. The reason for this is we have found that because this HDPE pipe is slightly flexible, it can throw off your level if you're not packing the dirt around your pipe. So we suggest that as you install your line, go ahead and bury it as you go and constantly check your level to make sure that you are still on point. So this last 10 foot section, we went ahead and used Schedule 20 PVC. That way the pipe is more rigid since it got really shallow here so we could daylight it with a straight end. Now, same thing, you just use the bell end, you put the adhesive and you wrap it with tile tape. It's no different than the fittings. And at the very end here, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of dig it out a little bit, swale it and put some drain rock in there. That way it helps for erosion purposes. And this water is just going to drain through here and it's going to perk out and it's going to go over that sidewalk and into the gutter. Now, remember, we're in Florida, so it doesn't freeze down here. If water goes over sidewalks, it's not a big deal because, like I said, it's not going to freeze. People aren't going to slip and fall on that. All right, guys, so the system is all, all buried up. As you can see, it's pretty sandy soil. We took that tape off of that gutter downspout. We just had that on there so that when we were backfilling, we weren't getting sand in the pipe. Now, we also went ahead and put drainage rock around this catch basin to, hold, to help hold the sand back, at least until the grass starts growing a little bit better. And we're going to go ahead and grab the hose and throw it in there and start filling this catch basin up and see the system take in water. Now, because this soil is so sandy and we have our drainage rock with geofabric underneath the basin and the basin's perforated, the soil has to get saturated underneath the basin before the basin starts to fill up enough for the pipe to take in water. So as you can see, the water level is raising now. And remember, we're only using a garden hose here. On a heavy rain, your soil is going to get saturated quicker and that pipe is going to start taking in water a lot faster but as you can see the water is going directly down the pipe we have it downhill to level make sure that your pipe is always got a bubble going the opposite direction of the way you want the water to travel that way you ensure that the pipe drains the water out entirely so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go down here and as you can see we got the water slowly coming out it's pushing some debris out and that's just with the garden hose now this soil is gonna perk really, really well because of how sandy it is. So as this thing drains and as the water builds up in the little swale, it's gonna slowly start making its way out and go over the sidewalk and into the street. I'm turning the hose off now because I wanna see how long it takes that catch basin to drain out completely and for that water to perk through the soil. And I probably waited roughly about 10 minutes and all that water was gone. Well, there you have it, guys. That's how you install HDPE triple wall drainage pipe. And we are currently servicing Hillsboro, Pasco, and Pinellas County, Florida. So if you are experiencing drainage problems in your yard, give us a call. I can come out there and assess the situation, and we can design a system that fits your needs. And until next time, this is Aero General Services signing off.